storms sweep through green country, flooding roads and buildings. Thousands lost power, and Bartlesville schools had to cancel classes. Jenny is working for you with live team coverage. We go first to Will Dupree. He's live in Bartlesville, where hundreds of homes are without power hours after the storm. Well, Karen, PSO says more than 2,200 homes are still without power right now here in Washington County. And in this area of Bartlesville, they may not get their lights back on until later this week. Winds topping 80 miles an hour blew down 33 power poles like dominoes in West Bartlesville. Crews are now working to replace and repair all of them until they can remove the tangled power lines. Ruby Trammell says she's stuck at home. I don't have to get out, so I'm not getting out. Staying around here working. Ruby hopped on her lawnmower early this morning after eating breakfast by candlelight. She says the storm left tree limbs lying all over her yard. Pick up the pieces and keep going. Did it in the flood, and I'll do it in this. Down the road from Ruby's, crews worked to free a Bartlesville fire truck trap since last night. Firefighters came to the area to check out some arcing power lines, but the wind blew them on top of the truck. Interim Fire Chief Billy Phillips says the firefighters were trapped for more than two hours. They had to abandon the fire truck until this afternoon when crews helped lift off the power lines. But it seems like the truck's all okay and everything, no damage, and so it turned out all right. Ruby says she's still got a lot to clean up, but at least her lights came back on this morning. Well, PSO says it could take until Thursday to restore power to about 800 homes in this area because of all the damage. Now we're going to show you even more damage, plus what the wind did to a popular downtown family attraction coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in Bartlesville, Will Dupree, 2 News Works for you. Quite a scene there, I will. Thanks. Well, our team coverage continues now with 2 News reporter Joe Hinky. He is live with the cleanup underway at one Bartlesville school. Joe? Well, Russ and Karen, until about 10 or 15 minutes ago, construction workers on top of that blue tarp behind me working to repair a hole in the roof of the mid Bartlesville Mid High School here. Now, the Mid High School's principal tells me straight line winds hit the building last night, ripping the hole in the roof just above the auditorium. The band director came in around 6.30 this morning, I'm told, and she heard what sounded like running water. School staff spending the day now cleaning up standing water and also letting instruments dry out. At least eight district own cellos and several drums are water damage. No estimate yet, though, on the price tag to fix all of the building damage and instruments. And no power at Bartlesville schools today it meant no class. Coming up on 2 News at 6, I'll let you know when students might be heading back into the classroom. In Bartlesville tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.